Hello everyone and welcome back to Mary's Creative Decor. For today's project, we'll be using I was able to find two bags of gemstones from Dollar Tree, so we'll be using those today. We're starting our project today with the smaller gemstones from Dollar Tree. And we want to use a small bead of glue, just a small one, to connect the gemstones together to form a row. I'm going to add just a couple together to show you what it looks like and on to the next step. Okay, I've gotten my gems all around the mirror except for one side and I left that side open so I can show you um, how I'm accomplishing this. So I'm making my row and I want to continue adding my gemstones just one at a time, one bead of glue, a small bead and connecting it to my row. Now what I want to do is use my mirror as a guide for the length I want my row to be. So when I get to the last one, I'll just measure it to make sure it is the correct length. Once I've accomplished that, I take my fix all and I add it to the mirror. Again, I'll add beads of hot glue in various places on the mirror. Then take the row and affix it to the mirror. Now all my jewels are added to the front of the mirror and this is what it looks like. Now we're ready to flip it over to add the legs. I'm taking the larger crystals. I'm going to add some fix all to the bottom of the mirror. I'm gonna also take a dab and add it to the pointy side of the crystal. Then I'll take a bead of hot glue, add it to the back of the mirror and around the crystal and hold it until it dries. And here is what the crystal legs look like. you want to do 
is put some glue around that and you push this on the hole. So you would glue this to that. And this will give you a flat surface when you're ready to uh, put the leg on. It will be more like this. So it'll, it'll just make it easier to glue it. And um, I didn't remember to do that. But this is how my tray turned out. Turned out really, really pretty. On to the next project I'm going to do. We're gonna start off today's project with I'm also gonna use bright metallic finish spray paint by Rustoleum. So the first thing I wanna do today is take my box outside and I want to uh, spray paint it. I want to make sure that I take down all of the flaps on the box. So I'm going to uh, take them down, glue them down first with my hot glue gun. Um, and then I'm gonna take the box outside and spray paint it silver, and I'll be back when it dries. Okay, the Rust-Oleum paint has been added to the outside corners of my box and also the inside, but I didn't like how it was looking. So I have some masking tape, but uh, masking tape in color, it's like a silver design. So I decided to put that on the inside upper corners like I'm doing here, just so that my box will look neat from the inside. Now I'm ready to glue my reflective mirror to the box. I've measured and put marks on either side of the box so that my mirror will be centered. I do this to all four sides of my box. Using the six by six mirror on the eight by eight side of the box. Once the mirror is glued on all four sides, you're ready for your bling wrap. You wanna take the bling wrap and put it in all four corners or eight corners of the box. To lessen the time of the video, I will take care of this off camera. Now I'm ready to take that same bling and add it to the top part of the box. This is accomplished by taking two rows gluing down on the inside of the box and the other three rows will fold over to the outside of the box and get glued down. Before you're ready to glue down the wrap on the front, you want to make sure that you peel back the plastic wrap on the reflective mirror just enough to add glue to the reflective mirror and then you're ready to fold down the wrap. Mm -hmm. 
You want to do this on all four sides. Now that my wrap has been added to the top side of the box, I'm just pulling down my reflective paper to show you what it looks like. Now where the wrap did not meet in all four corners, what we're going to do is take some bling wrap, some actual diamond bling wrap. I'm going to cut it into three inch strips and I will be adding it or folding it around the corners. When doing your corners, the diamond bling wrap will fold over on top of the other wrap, but that's okay. You just want to make sure that you cover up that corner. So you want to put that middle section of the three rows down the center. And this is what it looks like. Now we're just gonna continue to do all four corners. Now that all four corners have been blinged out, we can remove the film from the mirrors. Now your flower box is complete. You wanna add, add some styrofoam to the bottom of the mirror to hold your flowers. I'm using my hot glue to glue it in place. I'm not adding the hot glue directly to the foam because it will melt it, but putting it in the bottom of the box. Here I've added my signature red roses to my box. Now I um, just wanted to embellish it a little bit further. I have these diamond brooches that I got from Amazon and I'm going to remove clip from the back should be using pliers but i'm trying my scissors because that's what's here but i'm going to remove that and i'm going to glue it to the center of my box i'm using a uh, hot glue to adhere mine to my box um you might also want to use something a little stronger but like your E6000 or your Fix-All but I'm just using hot glue and I'm going to adhere that to both sides of my box. And here is my box. Turned out quite beautiful. On the bottom of the box, you can also add the same decorative uh, tape to make the bottom pretty as well. And here is a view of it on my dresser. It could be used anywhere in your home. I think it's quite stunning. And here is what both my projects look like. My floral box as well as my mirror tray. Quite beautiful they are. And if you guys have enjoyed watching this video as much as I have enjoyed bringing it to you, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, share it with your friends and family, and last, give me that thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. God bless.